Hurry, hurry. Schmidt beer, the brew that grew to be best in the great Northwest. Your finest craft beer, Rocky. Man to man, smoke Roy Tan. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. And now, here are Greg, Scott, and Dan coming at you ice cold and unfiltered. That's right. Welcome in, everybody. It's us. It's them. It's the Unfiltered Gentlemen. Thanks for joining with us. I am Greg. Over there is the quick-witted guest, Scott. If only he has something witty to say right now. And, <laughs> yes, and the Kager Raider Raider himself. <laughs> Dan. That's right. Coming for those kegs, yo. <laughs> no keg is safe. That's right. That is for sure. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Thanks for joining. Most importantly, thanks for drinking along. Don't forget where you're on the social medias to hashtag show us your beers and tag us. We want to see what you're drinking. And make sure you follow us at The Unfiltered Gentleman. We always post pictures of what we're drinking, what we're talking about, all of that good stuff. And do not forget to rate and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, wherever it is that you're listening to your podcast. Uh, before we get any further, it's also time that we introduce Beer Babe of the Year, Allie. Or, I mean, sorry, Tits McGee. <laughs> oh, hey. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's quite the honor. Well, you know, I think you're the... No, I guess you're not the first girl to join us, but top five for sure. Uh, so Allie's going to be hanging out with us throughout the show. She's got a beer to drink as well as the rest of us. And speaking of drinking, I am getting quite parched over here. So let's crack right into it. Let's do it. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for Beer of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I say, I think I'll have myself a beer. Have myself a beer indeed. I ordered this one strictly because of the name. I'm drinking Humble Sea Brewing's the Foggy and the Furious. Oh. It's a foggy IPA, 6.4%, has a 4.07 on untapped. They say the Foggy and the Furious Foggy IPA Double Dry Hopped has HBC 472 Mosaic and Motika hops. It's creamy, round, full-bodied foggy IPA with incredible notes of tangerine, vanilla, berry, and dull pineapple fruit cocktail. Our head brewer Nick describes this as a full-on fresh, good hoppy beer. We consider this a glowing review from someone who is constantly working to improve the status quo in beer. It's raining hops! It is indeed. This is delicious. I had not had Humble Sea until recently, and I, was, I saw somebody on the gram, and I was like, you know what? Those sound good. And I went to the website, and what do you know? They ship within California. So I ordered a box, ordered the Foggy and the Furious, Furious because I love the Fast and the Furious to an embarrassing amount. And uh, this beer lives up to its awesome name. It is tropical, so much pineapple. You get that Dole Whip that they talk about. It's, uh, it's an easy drinker on a nice hot summer day. And uh, it's got that fog going. All the humble sea beers, oh, they don't yeah. call them hazies. They call them foggies. Nice. Oh, really? I love that. Yeah, yeah, me too. I love that. Yeah, that's the uh, California coast. They're, they're up there in Santa Cruz. Yeah, they're very fun. So, And I just ordered another round from them. They had a new beer release, and I was like, I got to try that shit, too. Everything I've had so far is phenomenal. Mm, so, I love their beers. So you know who uh, turned me on to them is Ali and I's friend uh, Jason Hop Garage on the gram. He was posting about them. I was like, I gotta try these guys, and I'm glad <laughs> I did. Would it make you put down a Corona to drink it? <laughs> <laughs> Live my life one foggy beer at a time, and I don't hold it like a weirdo. Mm. That's for sure. <laughs> well, it's in a can, right? Uh, yes, yes. That's right. So it's, yeah. it's nearly impossible. I guess leave it to Vin Diesel, but I think it's nearly impossible to hold it weird. I'm sure he'd he like hold it out. by the tab or something. You know? <laughs> From the bottom, like a weirdo or something. <laughs> like yeah. hanging on to it. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden he turned into the guy from Scary Movie. Let me use my good hand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so if you guys are in the shipping region or even better, uh, drive-up region of Humble Sea Brewing, they're up in Santa Cruz, California, do yourselves a favor and do check them out. I do not think you'll be sorry if you get some of their beers. Uh, all right, we got a lot to get to tonight. Of course, we've all got beers to talk about. We've got uh, some crotch talk to get through, some sports talk. And some oh so important booze news. So let's kick things off. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. It is indeed. 
I don't know about you guys, but uh, Dan's name last week was very appropriate over the weekend. It was ball soup for sure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, my God. It, it hit uh, almost the hundreds here. We definitely broke out that kiddie pool. And yeah. uh, I'd like to say we were floating, but we were kind of just sitting in our <laughs> two feet deep <laughs> that kiddie pool. No diving? No diving. Well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the bandages. Yeah, hanging out, drinking some tasty beers. That was nice. It was really the only way to cool the fellas. Damn. It was so bad that like Saturday I filled it up and we, you know, we sat in and it was just tap water, so it was cold as hell. And then the next morning we came out at like noon and got back in it and it was so hot out that the water had heated up to the point where we actually had to put cold water in it because it was oh, too warm. Oh shit, man. Wow. Yeah, that shit was nuts. That's Al- crazy. Yeah. So, you Allie, do you have a pool? In there? Yeah, exactly. We do have a pool, yes. Oh, I'm so jealous. Yeah. Let's all go to Allie's house. Yes, please. I would love to get some use out of the pool. The kids I'd... just like to stare at it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, pff, hold my beer. I'm coming in. Yes. Dang. So that was kiddie pool time. And then uh, I did my first ever streaming concert this weekend. Ah. Yes, it was very cool. One of my favorites, Andrew McMahon, was doing a drive-in concert in uh, Orange County, we couldn't make it, but they decided to stream it, and they sold tickets. I think for the stream for like twenty bucks, and it was great. You know, I got the big screen and and the surround sound and everything, so I I hooked it up and I streamed it, and I probably really fucking annoyed the neighbors, but uh, <laughs> it was great because still looked and sounded really good. I do that every day. Annoy the neighbors? Yeah, just by living, just by being. I thought you were gonna say you look and sound good every day. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> Um, it looked and sounded great, and uh, the best part was beer was way cheaper and better. Yeah. True That's that. kind of what I was going to say. That's yeah, no actually pretty brilliant. You yeah. can just get all the beers. You don't have to wait in line for bathroom. No mm-hmm. DUI. There you, no yeah, DUI. Yes. yeah. Man. Bathrooms are really clean. Right. Yeah. Yes. Jeez. No lines. Exactly. So. Yeah. No sweaty people rubbing up against you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. True that. Even yeah. pre-Rona, yeah. that was gross. <laughs> right. Oh, right. That's always been gross. Yeah. Exactly. Some weird Uber driver taking you home. Yeah. <laughs> looked a lot like Scott. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Thought you looked familiar. <laughs> she doesn't remember the other half of the ride home. It's weird. <laughs> she just passed out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, that was my weekend. What about you guys? Any Anything good happen? Any grievances? I went to uh, uh, Rincon Brewing here in uh, Ventura, actually. Oh, they opened back up? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool, man. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, they have a nice little... Uh, like outside patio kind of area, like where there's like, there's even like a sand area where you can kind of like, you know, I, I think they call it the sandbox or something is what they do. Like, yeah, oh. that sounds about right. Yeah, but it was, I mean, it's really cool out there and uh, every, you know, all the, the tables and everything were spaced the appropriate lengths and the, they had some pretty good food there. I had some uh, fish tacos and uh, mm. all right, good stuff. So yeah, that spot is really nice to hang out. Mm-hmm. I yeah, been there I, was, since... I was digging it. Yeah, time. the space is is really the the best part about that spot, I think. For sure. So very nice. Anybody else? Any uh, field trips or anything? Well, I could share my week, but it's not like the, all that positive. <laughs> it's just what, what a shitty week I had. I mean, I think I might have mentioned this last week. I don't know, but it started off where I got called last weekend by my supervisor, my my day regular job. He said, "Hey, we got nothing to do, so don't come in this week." Oh yeah, yeah. Did I say that? Okay, mm-hmm. so I won't. You know, for you, but that was just the beginning because, first of all, I hate that because I got nothing to do all week. I mean, everybody else is working. I got to sit around all day, wait to go to my second retail job. So it's just like just a total fucking boring week all week long. And that was the beginning. Uh, As the week wore on, um, the wife gets a call from one of her relatives who she had visited earlier in the month is, hey, a couple days after you were here, our daughter came down with the corona. Mm. So the wife is freaking. She's, you know, obviously, and she's all upset, you know, so she calls her work. She's like, what do I do? I mean, I, you know, might have it and all this kind of stuff. And her supervisor tells her, well, for now, I'm going to say, do you have any of the symptoms? Or you have a fever, blah, blah, blah. She says, no, I feel okay. She goes, I'm going to say, come in, but we're going to contact corporate and see what they have to say. And by the next morning, corporate texted and then her boss texted her and said, yeah, come in because you don't have any of the symptoms. Um, but she does, you know, her weekend job, she takes care of a 102 year old lady. So she's like, I'm not going there just in case. Anyway, long story short, if it's too, not too late for that. Um, <laughs> she went Saturday, got tested Sunday. They called and said, you're negative. So that was okay. So 
Oh, good. Happy ending. Yeah, yeah. happy ending, which yeah. we all enjoy. So then um, she calls work and says, I do have it. I'll see you in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> no kidding, dude. That's the way to go. Well, so have you seen the people that are trying to force a fever? They put their head on the hood of their car <laughs> so that when they go into work, they get tested. Oh, they have a high temperature. God. And so then they get turned Jesus. around. They get sent home for two weeks. It's a thing. It's happening. Oh, God. People are so dumb. Your temperature's 180. (laughs) (laughs) These are the sick fucks we share the world with, you guys. Temperature's 180, and it looks like you have about 300 foot-pounds of torque. (laughs) (laughs) And you're about a quart low. Yeah. (laughs) They're a quart low, all right. Uh, And to end up my week, we were taking a walk last night, and she had a whole weekend off, so we just kind of hung out. And last night, we were out going for a nice little walk. And I guess being old, we weren't like really paying attention and we're waiting to cross the street and I'm thinking she had pushed the button. She's thinking I'd pushed the button, oh which boy. neither one of us had. Oh, man. So we get halfway across the street and I just happen to notice the lights turning yellow already. So I start to walk a little bit faster and she's still just like that and I just walking along. And then finally I go, I took her arm and said, we got to hurry. The light's red. She goes, oh my gosh, what happened? I don't know. Let's hurry. So we're trying to hurry. She's tripping over the dog. Some idiot gets right up on us and just lays on his horn. Oh, oh, what boy. a dick. Wow. I was, oh, God. I, you know, of course, the words that came out of my mouth, just like, you fucking asshole, you know, fuck yourself uh, and all this kind of stuff. That, that's when you lose your shoe suddenly and you have oh, to go put it back I had, on. I had rubber flip flops. So oh, I would have dropped it and like, <laughs> oh, I can't get it on my foot here. You're going to have to wait a little longer, asshole. Oh, well, the worst God. part is after he drove by, the some guy behind him, he pulls up and he stops. He goes, by the way, I don't know why you're mad. You're the one breaking the law. Oh. Like, oh my god. I said, oh, wow. you motherfucker, mind your own fucking business. And I leaned into him and he took off. So we went home and you know slept. <laughs> and I told I finally told my wife that I said, I think it's the fact that I've been off all week. I just need to get back to work and get my mind going. We're sitting at the restaurant, and the first mistake was I can see my car. So I see the guy putting food in his car. He opens the back door and whacks my car. Ooh. Oh my I'm like, gosh. are you kidding me? And I jumped up. She goes, What are you doing? What are you doing? I said, wait here, I'll be back. I gotta go so beat I get some out ass. There. Oh man! <laughs> I was like, "Do you realize you just hit my car, my car with your door?" The guy's like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." I'm like, "You know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal." <laughs> I'm gonna go back in now. Yeah, I mean, right. he didn't obviously he didn't mean to. So the, the whole the time you're like, telling your stories, all I can hear is this theme song playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You imagine? That's pretty much totaled up my week, yeah. Yeah, especially with that stoplight. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, I mean, you know, we screwed up, but I mean, the guy just like laid on us. It just, if he like a little beep beep, I say, hey, sorry, we screwed up, you know? Sure. Yeah. Not the end of the world. I have to admit that, speaking of yelling to people for hitting your car, I, I probably uh, get it from my father's side of the family, <laughs> but I, I can't stand if anybody touches my car. And yeah. I was at the bank. This is like, I don't know. I can't remember. This is either early Rona or pre Rona. And the, uh, the wife gets out to go use the ATM and I'm sitting in the car and I have my window cracked. And the old lady that was using the ATM comes over and like puts her hand on my window. My driver's <laughs> side window. And I looked at her, I was like, the fuck are you doing? And she looks at me and scares the shit out of herself. Oh, I thought this was my car. And I oh have this, my God. I have a sports car. It's a two door coupe. Now, we both had silver cars. They weren't the same silver, but we both have silver cars. But she's got some old lady silver Honda Accord, you know, something boring. (laughs) And I was like, all right, well, let go. And she starts to back (laughs) off. And as she backs off my window, she walks around my car and she's using my car as a brace and like putting her hand on it every step. So I got out of my car. I was like, what are you doing? Do you need help? I will help you. Don't touch my fucking car. <laughs> like if, if you can't walk, I will help you. She's like, I was just confused. I said, I am no. Stop touching my car. Was she talking to the car? Like, you know, <laughs> using some kind of medium kind of like she powers thought it was or kid. something? Yeah. Yeah, no kidding, dude. It's not fucking Night Rider over here. Yeah. Oh, I was I I know it's an old lady. I was so pissed. I was going to say like, Greg bullying the old ladies. I know. <laughs> he really she was. was. She was just looking she was just looking for the button that turns into an Autobot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh my! That or she's just molesting my car. I want to know if her car looked anything like your car. 
Nothing. I mean, other than she the was color. She driving like a red Jeep? No, we had the same color. Mine's a little darker silver. Hers was a lighter silver. But she had this four-door, like, old-ass Honda Accord or whatever. <laughs> and I've got my little two-door sports car. And, oh, I thought this was mine. I'm like, okay, stop fucking touching it, lady. What the fuck, man? That is she weird, She's trying dude. to catch that upgrade. I guess so. She's trying to catch some yeah. Greg. I don't know. It was it was yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I used, usually, if they're old, like, let up because I'm, I'm getting there fast. So, like... All right, maybe somebody have mercy on me someday if I do something yeah. stupid and, and I'm well, old. Well, I wasn't showing no mercy. <laughs> no, fuck that. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't so much that like she touched the window. You can clean the glass, whatever. But then the whole like, let me molest yeah, your car as you walk touching. away. And I was like, and I even said to her, I was like, do you need help? Could she walk? Did she have like trouble walking? No, she walked <laughs> from the ATM to my car just fine. Okay. And then. Once she well, maybe she herself. just saw you and thought you were so strappingly handsome that you just took well, her breath away and she couldn't It does walk happen. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. Maybe she needed a yeah. cold shower or something. Turned her yeah. legs to jelly. Yeah. She's got your father's side of the family. Oh, yeah. She's that's still thinking it. about the one that got away in the ATM parking lot. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. funny. Uh, the one that almost beat her ass. <laughs> no kidding. She probably, apparently, she liked it. Mm hmm. Well, she I mean, might have. One time years ago, I was out running and some car you know i go in across the like a driving when you go into the parking lot mm-hmm. and the person almost i had to dive onto the grass or the car would have hit me shit, and i shit. you know oh. that pissed me off so i followed the car and then went up to a gas station i'm storming <laughs> up to the car some old lady gets out and i oh fuck never mind <laughs> i didn't say, <laughs> oh. didn't say nothing <laughs> you're like those pedestrians in grand theft auto video games they're just like ah! apparently <laughs> <laughs> extra points oh man <laughs> It's hilarious. Oh, geez. One time I was in my old, the old Monte Carlo that I'm trying to get hooked up again. And um, someone like I had gotten a scratch before and I didn't know who did it, you know, and I got I guess kind of pissed off about it. So like I was at a stop sign. It was kind of like, you know, stop and go. There was like a, a line in front of me and I had stopped and then someone just bumped right into my car and I was pissed. I was like, that better yeah. not have left a scratch. So I slammed the shit in the park. I got out of the car. And then, but you know, back in the days, like that was my Monte Carlo number one. And number two, I had like all gang related, you know, the way I used to dress. <laughs> so I got out and the guy put his hands up like, don't shoot. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> but all I wanted to see is if he fucked up my car. So I went right. out there and he was just like this with his hands up and I'm coming around like I'm going to get to his, like his passenger side. But all I wanted to see was the back end of my car. So I went back there. I looked. Nothing happened. I said, okay, whatever. And I went back in my car and he probably shot his pants, I'm guessing, probably. or something. Yeah. So you should have reached into your waistband just to see what he had done. <laughs> I, know, <right? laughs> I didn't think about it till afterwards. I'm like, oh, dang, he probably thought I was going to whoop his ass, man. Like, oh, clearly. <laughs> that, guy's, that guy's a racist. Yeah, I know, man. It was funny. Just yeah. when he put his hands up, like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> I guess being a SoCal, we could talk about road rage all night. But yeah. one time I was, at, we're, I was sitting on the 101. <laughs> Is it a traffic jam? We're sitting there. And some guy did that to me. He bumped me in the back of my car. <laughs> so I got out of my car, and I'm walking to the back of his car, and the whole time I'm walking back, he goes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, do you not see these cars around you? Stop. What the fuck does that mean to you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I just got back in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guy get out of his car at me once. Ooh. He went around me, and he almost hit me, and I honked at him. So he throws on his e-brake and then gets out of his car. And he was a big fucking oh, dude. Oh, shit. And I was like, well, I'm getting you... the fuck out of here. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this round Maybe... goes to you. I'm yeah. out. Good job. <laughs> you win. Good yeah. job. I was even more afraid than getting my ass kicked. I was afraid he's going to like break a window or something. Like, or something. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty, yeah. That's I'm afraid to hurt my car. Yeah, exactly. I, Pick I'll up heal. Your car and throw it. My yeah, broken arm will heal, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, wow. Well, that, that was a uh, tangent. But uh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, come on out to California, everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just don't park next to us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, man. What about you, uh, Tits McGee? Any uh, grievances this week? Guy, I feel like, well, I had a great little weekend in Oceanside. We nice. stayed coastal, and it was it was hot. But you got that beach. Yes, it was nice. So we were able to, you know, everything's closing up again, and all of the couple weeks ago it used to be the social distancing on the inside of the restaurants you know they at least keep like the six to ten feet whatever right. that's all shut down again so we we went to a brewery we tried but you know we, now they're putting us on the front which is on pch we're sitting on the front on pch great spot i love this place but um you know there's a lot of people cruising on their motorcycles and so you're out front mm-hmm. and you're like yelling at each other trying to have a conversation <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, with all the Harleys are going by and it's good. I like it. I can, you know, I'm down with the Harleys and the people getting their Sunday ride on or whatever, but yeah. I, it's very hard to have a conversation. So best conversation um, you ever had with your husband, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he, actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was pretty much business as usual. He wasn't yeah. listening, so, you know, it's nice. fine. <laughs> but now he's got so, an excuse. Yeah, I can not hear you, motorcycles. Yeah, yeah can't, can't get mad at him. So, it was nice. It was nice in Good. Oceanside. I went for a run on Sunday morning, and mm, I'm feeling, yep, it was it was hot. So Yeah, sweat those balls off. Yeah, guess I'm going to have to get in the habit of running again, though. All of our gyms shut Oof. down. Everything That's shut true. down today. So, Just in time for that. it to get hot as balls. All right, go run outside, everybody, like animals. <laughs> right, right, yeah. So I went to the gym today. I think that was maybe my last workout for a while again. Damn. So, Probably. Cool. Good times. Yeah. Nobody yeah. got the Rona? You guys safe and healthy and all that stuff? Um. Well, so yes, we are safe, but my <laughs> daughter has been in contact with somebody who oh. will not stand up and admit who they are, but she was doing some field hockey practices for, she's about to be a freshman and they were getting together and doing some field, field hockey practice. And this was probably like right as things were just starting to get pretty relaxed, you know, mm. right, right before the spike. Right. <laughs> it, all fall, <laughs> it all falls into textbook, but um, Fitting. so yes. And they, you know, they were social distancing at practice and whatever. So one of the teammates did test positive for the Ooh. Rona and Thanks. we got an email from the high school, which um, was interesting because I, t it's been two weeks now. And just today I did actually find out what child had the Rona, oh. but um, the was mom, the, was, girl? <laughs> the mom didn't <laughs> want to tell anybody like had like told two people and then didn't want to tell anybody else. Cause you know, they think it's the plague or, Right. whatever and so um and the problem was is it was right before you know we just went got home from a road trip last weekend so i'm like we've been gallivanting through arizona and nevada and you're spreading know. that shit across the nation <laughs> maybe i don't so know it's your fault <laughs> <laughs> it could be I, I, florida <laughs> no so she so Sophia is safe. She's fine. You know, it's been past at this point now, it's been past the time where she would have showed up with any of the symptoms. And um, it, it took me literally 14 days to figure out who the fuck it was. So, you know, anyways, good times. Yeah. And the, the mom, the mom actually wasn't going to tell the school. And yeah, so what it's a bitch. Just, I, I, she's not a bitch. I really like her, but that's <laughs> not a very nice move. <laughs> what a what a bitch move. How about that? There, there we go. go. There, there we go. go. Yes. Great person, yes. bitch move. It is a great person. It's a great family. I so I don't want to, you know, but I come on. Yeah, come let's on, hope guys. Listen. Come, come on. on. No, why don't come you? On. Hey. <laughs> come on. Let's exactly. just let's just let's just be grown ups about this and, you know, get back to flattening the curve, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Bring that curve down. Mm-hmm. I actually Googled that today, the the spikes, because my son and I were talking about it, and I can't believe it's it has it has spiked quite a bit. A lot. It's kind of it fucking has. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was like, you could see the curve flattened, and then all of a sudden, like, bing. Yeah. yeah. The, the good crazy. news is, at least we're in Florida. Right. Oh, so true. Yeah. What's is up, Florida? Is Florida a front runner right now? They have a lot of cases. Oh, big time. Oh. Yeah. Well, they're, they're kicking Florida around. Them in California, like, yeah. Florida was, was definitely... Um, I mean, it's fucking Florida. They don't give a it's, shit. It's they march to the beat Enough of their said. own yeah, drum. Exactly. Yeah. March yeah. to the beat of their own alligator. Yeah. It's funny because like New York for a while was leading it and everything, but you knew Florida was going to, they, they lead the league in everything. Right. So of course Florida is going to come back and take that from us too, you know? It was <laughs> only a matter of time before they said, hold my beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And yeah. their state is shaped like a penis. What do you want? Yeah, exactly. That's right. Um, all right. That's awesome. Right. Well, I'm. I'm glad uh, you know none of us have the Rona. Before we yeah, find so out what Ali, good. yeah, before we find out what Ali's drinking over there, uh, I I did uh, forget and was so kindly reminded that our burp word of the week is too fast, T O O too fast. That's just because uh, I was thinking of Fast and the Furious. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I do want that beer because you know I have a thing for old cars or fast cars or pretty cars, so I really need that beer in my life so I can you know sit in come the on up. We'll, We'll sip on yeah. some beer and, and drive around in my fast car. 
Perfect. <laughs> it sounded really creepy. Not to be confused with the four door Honda Accord. No, not that old bitch's bank. car. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, shout out to uh, Fort Worth, Texas. They're a top listening city of last week. And that's probably because they got the Rona and they got nothing yeah. better to do. They, yeah, what are they going to do? Yeah, exactly. So thanks for uh, being stuck at home and listening to us instead of watching Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, you heard it here first. I was told this week that there is a cure for the Rona, but oh. the doctors won't allow them to put it out you know, to, for the people to take because the doctors are getting rich off of the Rona. Sure. Makes wow. sense. So, yeah. Isn't that adorable? Mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. All right. Well, I, I know who not to hang out with now. <laughs> it sounds uh sounds good. So all the doctors are just planning their vacations overseas because of their money that they're I making. guess they're gonna yeah. They're buy setting houses themselves and... up for Rona. Yeah, they're giving themselves the cure and they're just traveling all over the world. Yeah. Right, right. And they're they're so good at keeping it quiet, you know. Nobody's sneaked it out yet. Yeah, nobody's slipping. Those, That's pretty good. Those doctors are pretty good. Tight lips over there. Mm. It's like a mafia or something. <laughs> Uh, all right, Allie, you want to tell us what you're drinking over there? Oh, sure. Hey, um, aren't you going to play her music? I know. I was actually curious what... Oh, how's this for music? <laughs> Dan likes it. What is yep. this? What is this? It's from Super, Super Troopers. Troopers. <laughs> oh, so what are you drinking over there? I am drinking, this is just a test. It's from Resident Culture Brewing Company. It was sent to me by Brewing and Tasting on the Gram. He's oh, out yeah. in North Carolina. H hanging out in his uh, TP fort. What's up, buddy? Yes, I, I, wonder if, I wonder if he still has most of that toilet paper, or I wonder if he's still hoarding. Yeah, we'll have to find out. Yes. So this is just a test has a 4.1 on untapped. It mm. is a, a hazy IPA hopped with Sabro Citra Mosaic. Good mix of resinous dank flavor, tropical fruit, and that je ne sais quoi that Sabro brings to the mix. Fancy. Mm-hmm. Your beer's oui, oui. speaking French. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oui, oui, merci. Merci, uh, brewing tasting. Bonjour. Yes, wow. and... I'm holding it up even though you guys can't see it, but it's no, got, it's, you know, it's got the typical haze and color of a hazy beer. Oh, man. Now I know how the listeners feel when we do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you right. should have this beer. You can't see it or taste it, but it's fantastic. <laughs> Look how beautiful the color is. <laughs> it's what the gram's for. It's mm -hmm. what the gram is. True yes. that. Yes, and it's it's great. It's a great hazy. Um, I am starting to get to the point where I do feel like like the hazies are kind of like the dime a dozen. I I think this is an exception to the. Well, I guess this one's more in the New England family. Maybe that's why it doesn't mm. taste like the run of the mill hazies. It's got great dank flavor to it. Um, pretty mild. I don't ri I don't like super hoppy beers. Right. So, um, I think it's great. I appreciate yeah. you, Ken. Thank you. Shout out. Shout out to Ken. And, and yeah. yeah, the hazies are pretty common now. I'm all about them foggy beers, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do feel like Humble Sea has a different level. It's not a hazy. I think that they do deserve to have a different category with the foggy. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's really good. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. They're so good. We got to get them on the show somehow. Yes. We went to Humble Sea in October. We were able to go to the brewery and check it out and... It's a great spot. It's a great spot. Nice. Dog friendly. There was a dog there actually that looked just like Marty. Oh, and Marty he and I became besties. Yeah. Mm. So I, like I really like that spot. <laughs> nice. Like All right. Well, I can't wait to get up there. If uh, Not that we're going back to Humble Sea or anything, but I want to get up there soon. All right. Before we find out what Scott's drinking, old timey word of the week, unrigged. Unrigged. And I swear, I, I, <laughs> I pulled this word before I knew Allie was going to be on the show. This is not just me being a creep. Unrigged means stripped. Oh. What's yes. that got to do with me? I oh, because of you know. my outfit. Well, and, and your name. You're screaming oh, Tits McGee. Tits McGee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, go out there and get unrigged. It's, it's hot. Need, <laughs> need to let it flow, if you will. It's about that time. Right. Yes. All right, let's, uh, let's find out what Scott's drinking over there. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Scott. 
All right, what are you drinking over there? I am drinking Arrogant Bastard Ale. Oh, yeah. And uh, this is kind of a nostalgic beer for me because this is like one of the first uh, craft beers I drank. I think that's probably accurate for a lot of people. Could I was, yeah. was going to say the same thing. I think that's a huge gateway beer for most, it, yeah, not most, mm-hmm. but a lot. Mm-hmm. It's Yeah, it's got to be like with one of the first three craft beers. I could, it's either Big Daddy or this. I drank my first craft. But I do remember one time I, I bought an Arrogant Bastard. I was at the store and I was, as I was getting checked out and the lady, the cashier, she's ringing me up. She read the labels, Arrogant Bastard. They finally named a beer after my husband. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that when that was new. Like, there were there were so many, <laughs> there were so many funny, quote unquote, jokes about Arrogant Bastard. Oh, Arrogant Bastard. Yeah. Luckily, no more. Yeah. Um, for those of you who haven't had Arrogant Bastard, all three of you, 7.2%. They say their IBUs are classified, though I found somewhere else that said it's 100. 93 on Ooh. Beer Advocate and a 374 on Untapped. From the brewery, Stone says, well, excuse me. Arrogant Consortia, not Stone anymore. <laughs> this is an aggressive beer. You probably won't like it. It's quite doubtful that you'll have the taste or sophistication to be able to appreciate an ale of this quality and depth. We would suggest Ooh. that you stick to safer and more familiar territory. Maybe Ooh. something with a multi-million dollar ad campaign <laughs> aimed at convincing you wow. it's made at an independent brewery, or one that implies their tasteless seltzer, fizzy yellow beer, whatever the hell, will give you more sex appeal. Oof. Perhaps you think multi-million dollar ad campaigns make all that junk taste better. Perhaps you're mouthing your words as you read this. Um, wow. This is made Shot by sarcastic fired. brewing. Yeah. Yeah. That's an arrogant wow. bastard. Yeah, that is arrogant. I love that. Passive aggressive much? <laughs> Passive aggressive bastard. Yeah. yeah, no shit. Wow. I love it. I want to buy one now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. That's why I saw it. Today. I haven't had that in a while. And yeah. And it doesn't really taste like an ale to me. To me, it's an IPA. I mean, with a hundred-ish IBUs, how could it not? Yeah, I yeah. was gonna say, is that an ale? That's what they say on the it label. Just, oh. Yeah, it says an ale. Now, this is back before IPAs were the jam. I think this released in like '97 or something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, a long time ago. Back before it's popular to say this is an IPA. Right. Right. So wow. very nice. So uh, do you like it now just as much as you did before? Absolutely. Mm, I, I'm gonna have to revisit. I, it's right. I love it. Yeah, it's great yeah. stuff. It's been years. I can't decide if I want to try it or not because I'm a little mad at the description. <laughs> well, it's, it's, an arrogant, it's, it's the bottle talking to you. It's an arrogant bastard. Yeah, That's how it talks. Yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly. It's, it's true. Beer okay. with an attitude. That's there. Right. Well played. You well played. know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm less mad. <laughs> well, I was going to say, Scott, like, good on you to go revisit like a beer, especially one like that. Like, there's so many beers that, you know, we've actually, you know, we've ran through and it's just kind of like, had it, had it, had it, and you know, you try something new, looking for something new, and to like kind of just go back, especially to something that early. That's freaking awesome, dude! Like, yeah, I haven't had is... one in forever because that was one of the first ones I've had. So, right, you know, I haven't yeah. had you know, a reason to go back really because I, I, but now that I think about it, I don't remember it very well. So, I think I should go back to it. Yeah, I remember back Good. in the day, like that was a big ass beer, but now would it yeah. still be a big ass beer we might right. need to do some revisiting mm-hmm. i feel like now i need to try it again too the only time i tried it was at a wedding and mm. you know you know how wedding go when right when you're drinking too many of them it's say just, you were drunk by the time you had it <laughs> well it got me drunk it's the reason i'm drunk that arrogant bastard took advantage of me oh, again whoa. another one huh Jeez. again <laughs> again it be like that sometimes <laughs> it happens happens to the best of us uh, all right, very nice. Let's can't uh, rape the willing. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> She's not wrong. Wow! Before this totally falls apart, let's uh, spend a quick second on some sports. And now the sports brought to you by cleaninguptheglass.com. Whether it's the Baltimore chop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. It is indeed uh, some big news from football. The Redskins have announced that they will change their name and logo. Will no longer be the Redskins. Huh. I wonder what no, it's going to be don't then. don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't announced what it's going to be yet. So huh. Scott's not I have not heard that they're yeah. going to maybe possibly honor the Red Tails, which was the, um, what was that? It was, I, I'm probably I speaking out of line right now. It was some sort of um, fighter jet. That oh, used to, huh. yeah, and they used to call them the Red Tails. So I haven't I think heard that. that that's, one, that's one of the names that has been thrown into the ring. Okay. 
I also heard I also heard that the Redskins logo was actually to honor one of the people from the the tribe and it wasn't a uh, disrespectful that's right because uh i think we kind of dug a little deeper on it like a long time ago when this was first brought up and uh, i think one of the founders or two of the founders were actually native american so yes. like it goes back that, that early sounds familiar mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, it, it wasn't a, a cut on the race it was actually you know to to build them up saying we're you know redskins we're mighty warriors mm -hmm. we're gonna go out and fight and as a matter of fact the you know, because of this of course the, now they're asking the indians and the chiefs and everything but the braves came out with a statement saying we will not change our name we will not stop the chop you because know, they have their little chop during the games oh, right. and they say we will not stop that because we are not downgrading the native american we're building them up we're saying Correct. they're warriors they're mighty and we are mm -hmm. actually you know giving them credit so that's kind of the way i feel because it's just a bunch of bored white people that are wanting everybody to change their names I, I'm all yeah. for, you know, whatever, if, if the Native Americans say like, hey, this is super, super offensive, then I'm all for changing it. If they say that the Braves are, are building us up and, and the chop's all good, then then fucking go for it. Uh, I The one thing that sports shouldn't do is offend people. Sure. Oh, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I, I'm just worried. And, and people are going to be like, well, you know, I'll, I'll just say, hey, you asked for it. If we get into like a Washington wizard situation where obviously oh. the Washington Bullets was a way better name and a way better logo. Yeah. And now you got the Wizards and that's such a stupid name. I mean, I hate that dumb name. They should really go back to the Bullets. Really. It was a way better name. And I know they I were agree. trying to like not down. They're trying to like downplay all the violence that was going on in Washington or whatever. But it's like, right. come on, the bullets was way better. I, I was right. all for trying to, you know, phase out the bullets, but they could have done a lot better than the wizards. <laughs> than the wizards, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's like yeah, at no least kidding. try. Yes, just a little bit, please. Mm -hmm. So I mean, uh, so people that cheat are they going to ask the Astros to change their name? <laughs> <laughs> change it to the trash cans. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the trash beaters. Let's call them cheaters, man. That's what they are. Yeah. yeah. Houston, yeah. Houston Astros. <laughs> I'm I'm curious to know who's offended at the logo though, because you know, like I said, it's supposed to be honorable, from what I understand, right? Yeah, it, it, I don't know. That's what I've heard. Uh, obviously, that could just be some rich white guy saying that to convince people. I don't know. Who yeah. knows? Keep in mind, I don't follow football, so I could be. I don't follow the NBA. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-show joke. And um, so yes. And uh, in some interesting news for football, Oakley, sunglasses, Oakley, uh, they're making a prototype face shield to t attach to the helmets to combat Rona transmission during games. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, it's this like clear plastic face shield and I, it's got some special things, you know, all sciencey and shit to it. Oh, and, wow. um, That's for the NFL? That's for the NFL, yeah. Attached yeah, to the initials. helmets. <laughs> yeah. Attaches to the helmets and hopefully uh, prevents the spread and all that stuff. So they're going to start testing it with players uh, during preseason. See, uh, see how they like it. I guess that's I'm sure, cool. I'm sure they'll all complain about it, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, on to the NBA. Their checks. Right. Exactly. <laughs> on to the NBA basketball news. Uh, of the 322 players that were tested in Orlando, only two of them tested positive for the Rona. So that's uh, pretty decent news. That's pretty good. Yes. The one of them that tested positive that was not in Orlando, Russell Westbrook. Oh, shit. Westbrook's got the Rona. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's he crazy. was not in Orlando? He was not. They were about to leave. Oh. And, and before they're shipping off to Orlando, they're getting tested and they're getting tested again in Orlando. And he got tested before shipping off and luckily they found it then. And so he's staying behind while the team travels. Well, I mean, that kind of works out better for the Rockets, I think, because, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not to say he's a bad player, but you can't have ha both Harden and Westbrook on the team at the same time. It's just not going to work. If I was on the Rockets, I'd be hoping Harden got it, not Westbrook. That's true. <laughs> I'll co-sign that. Yeah. At least Westbrook knows how to pass the fucking ball and play a little bit yeah, of defense. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Hey, hey, Harden, could you stop by and see if uh, Westbrook's okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you check hug? on him? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give him a hug, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe. A little kiss on the forehead. <laughs> Shake his hand and wish him well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, that's all I got for the, uh, some sports news. I think it's time we find out what Dan's drinking over oh, there. Yeah. All right.
right, so I'm drinking a Deschutes Brewery Fresh Squeezed IPA. Fresh squeezed. Freshly squeezed. And that's uh, coming in at uh, 6.4% ABV, uh, 60 IBUs. And it's got an untapped rating of 3.93 uh, from the brewery. So this mouthwateringly delicious IPA gets the flavor from a heavy helping of citra and mosaic hops. Don't worry, no fruit was harmed in the making of this beer. True. Yeah, right? I Finally. Was so what does that mean? <laughs> Fake fruit? <laughs> oh, no, 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 wow. no, no. It's not Ballast Point. Uh, it means that they got all their fruit flavor from the hops. Ah, uh, gotcha. Mm, mm-hmm. That's true. It's in the hops. Yes. In the hops. Mm. And Describe I got to say. this hop flavor. Yeah, you know, and it's funny. When you pour this into a glass, it like, I don't know, maybe because we've been having a lot of hazies or I've been having a lot of lagers and stuff. It comes off like, as a, I, I drank it all. Sorry, there's nothing to show you here. But uh, <laughs> it, it's got like a, like kind of like an amber look to it, like a kind of a darker color to it as opposed to what you might see from an IPA. Yeah. Um, so, um, and then, you know, it's it's just a really good beer. I can dig it, so. Yeah, I was watching you pour it, and uh, mm-hmm. it's pretty dark for an IPA. That's what I was tripping on. Yeah, so, yeah, it almost like I said, kind of got like an amber color to it, so. Yeah, and so uh, you're a fan of the Fresh Squeeze? Oh, big time, big time. Good stuff. And I think they have a hazy version of it, too, don't they? I don't know. Oh, That's I thought true. they did. I think they have like a hazy and a regular Fresh Squeeze. Oh, okay. I could be I'm... making that up. It wouldn't be the first time. Oh, okay. So, so that's, anyways. Th- that's interesting. Yeah, so it actually comes from the hops is the flavor, right? The hop flavor. Hop yes. flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I've had that one. It, another beer. It's been a hot minute. But that one, uh, it's very enjoyable. And because they're a little bit bigger of a brewery, it's a little easier to find. So like a lot of baseball games and stuff, you'll find some fresh squeeze. And that's that's never a bad beer on a hot day. Mm-mm. Yeah. You know, I can stuff. get the shoots down here. We don't have the shoots here. Oh, really? Shit. Yes, and I always look for it because we went to that brewery probably five years ago in Portland, mm-hmm. and it was great. It was, and it was way before I was into the craft beer scene, you know. And what the shits? Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Come on, the shoots. <laughs> I'm what surprised shoots? you get get much of anything down in Africa over there. In your, uh, <laughs> well, at least that's what the map says you are. Like, that's right. We Looks all like see our pictures here, but yeah, Ali's got a map here, and right in the center is the motherland. So mm-hmm. yes, I don't know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We're all 2% of here. it, you know? Yeah. We're all 2% African. Mm-hmm. 23 and me, baby. We all started that. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> started started from Ayo. Africa, now we're here. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I think it's uh, time for Dan's favorite part of the show. This one's a classy dame with a great palate. It's Beer Babe of the Week. It is indeed. Her name is Mariah, and you can find she her. She on fire. <laughs> yeah, baby. Nicely done. Truth. Thank you. You can find her on the gram at Beauty and the Brew Official. All one word, no spaces, dots, dashes. Beauty and the Brew Official. And this one, uh, she's out on a boat drinking some delicious beer from Browns Brewing Co. I'm uh, on a boat. I wish I was on a boat right about now. So do yourselves a favor. Make sure you're following her on the gram at Beauty and the Brew Official. All right. It's that time of the show where we uh, break down the important stuff. Let's talk a little bit of news. Extra, extra. Drink all about it. It's time for booze news. So I was going to get all the nitty gritty details on this, and I thought, you know what? People probably don't care. So I'll just give you the highlights. (laughs) Anheuser-Busch is going to pay a record $5 million in compromise for trade practice violations. In short, they were uh, giving out free promotional stuff and free uh, like taps and draft systems and that kind of stuff in return for having only AB products. This was going on mostly at sports arenas, and uh, this is the biggest fine of that sort to date, uh, wow. $5 million. So. Have some of that. Mm-hmm. Suck it, AB. Uh huh. Uh, last week we talked about hard seltzer really going down and and uh, not not really doing so well this year. Well, somebody named Chad said, "Hold my claw," and hit up the store on the Fourth of July weekend. They had their best weekend ever on the Fourth of July weekend. Off premise dollar sales of hard seltzers increased one hundred and thirty four percent. They shot. made one hundred and thirty eight million dollars. 
Uh, the top 10 brands were White Claw, Truly, Bud Light, Corona, Smirnoff, Vizzy, Natty Light, Bon Vive, Wild Basin, and Press. Never heard of at least half of those. Um, so uh, Chad and wow. Karen were out at the store buying their seltzers for sure. What Ooh. happened? Like, I mean, even the Natty yeah, Natty Ice were going. Like, you know what I mean? Like somebody was hurting for some bubbles. <laughs> you know I what guess. I mean? Like, it's I don't like, know what the fuck is going on here. Let's get like, some alcohol and get something for the kids. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. So wait, Touché. are we saying are we mad at the seltzers? Is that what we're saying right here? You know what I'm mad about? Like, look, I I admit I'll, I'll drink a seltzer here and there. I'm mad at their popularity. And I'm mad that they classify them as beers in, in the sales category. They are not okay. beer. Okay. That's fair. I love seltzers. And I'm going to call them seltzers because that's what they are. Because they're not I was beer. about to say, <laughs> is that why there's not a camera there? You got like a wall of seltzers behind <laughs> you? Like, you're like, hey, Maybe. wait a minute. Maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> she's, over there, she's over there pounding claws. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually, I have to admit, and I'm proud of this, never have I ever had a white claw. Same. Never have I ever. Yeah, yes. I have only had Truly have because ever. that's the only one owned by a craft beer brand. I haven't had that one either. <gasps> that one's I, owned by Boston Beer. But you know, you know, my weakness is don't don't cringe, <laughs> Greg. PBR. Oh. PBR has seltzers coming out, and they're like they're like wow. eight, <laughs> the gag face. <laughs> 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 they're like eight <laughs> percent. What? Yep. Oh shit! Oh, Maybe yeah. I like them. Yeah, every yeah, you guys are all listening now. Now that yeah, I got everybody's sudden. attention. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I think Four Loco has some that are like eight, nine percent, right? Yep. I thought they got no, Probably. Uh, yeah, 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 it was funny. When you said the percentage, my ears perked up and yeah. my liver got sad. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yep. Yeah, yeah I hate I, seltzers. I'm sorry, eight percent? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate them, hate them. They never did anything to me. That is true. <laughs> Yes. So I have been, and I've been looking for the PBR seltzers and I cannot find them anywhere. <laughs> Gross. Stop. I it. mean, oh, that's too bad. <laughs> uh, well, maybe you'll find these ones because Monster, as in the Monster Energy Drink Company, oh, is looking to probably enter the hard seltzer line. They have trademarked the names True North, Real North, Pure North, and North Star. So uh, they it's like the, the North. They yeah, like what's up with the North? They must be the big fuck? Kanye and Kim Kardashian. I was gonna say, fans. Isn't that what oh, I will Kanye named his kids. Or yeah, Northwest. So uh, that's all you had to say. Now I know I will never touch any of that shit. <laughs> oh, perfect. Mission Put that next to the white claws. <laughs> uh, here's one that I know Scott will definitely not touch. Deschutes has released a non-alcoholic Irish stout. Uh, what? Yes, non-alcoholic. They remove the alcohol. They say they do this because 22% of millennials are drinking less alcohol. And they're trying well, to they're capture stupid. that market. <laughs> yeah. Who says they like millennials anyways? No I know. Hey, come on. This is the one time you guys want to cater to those guys. Or, I mean, <laughs> to those guys. That's funny. Like, I, I like how I what don't mean, identify. Yeah. I like I how I don't identify say, as one. I'm not sure about you, Dan, but I know for sure Greg is in that category. I oh, am boy. technically a millennial. Yeah, Actually, it's funny. I'm technically a millennial. Mm -hmm. My mm. old ass is technically a millennial. You must be right on the edge. Yeah, I it's am funny. Right on the edge. It could be. I can choose which one I want to identify <laughs> as. I get the grace period. Lucky you. Oh, good news for Allie. Mm -hmm. PBR is Damn. launching hard iced teas. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, right. uh, Twenty six states so far. That. <laughs> I figured you would. It's made by PBR. So, uh, I know. there you uh, go. It's a low cal hard iced teas. Boom. Uh, some sad news. Thanks to the Rona, Modern Time has had to furlough staff at most of their Ooh. tap rooms. Oh, shit. So far. Ooh. So, yeah. That sucks. You, can, you can still pick up Modern Times. Uh, you can also order them online. I have to say, I, as a huge lover of Modern Times, they made their pickup process early on so fucking difficult. I tried mm -hmm. to pick up some beer from their downtown LA location because it's not too far from one of my work spots. And they made you book a 15 minute window. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yes. uh, I don't know when I'm going to be there. How can I book a 15 minute window? So I was like, you know what? I love you guys, but fuck you guys. I will not be picking up beer to go. And that's when I found and was so glad I did. I discovered Mumford Brewing. Because I was like, who else is around here? <laughs> That's a bummer. Why they got to be wants so my money? like? Yeah, yeah. Why they got to be so stingy with fifteen yeah. minutes? Yeah, so well, weird. It's like, if I'm late, do I not get my beer? What the fuck? 
Well, so that was actually incorporated sort of into the Rona because very at the very beginning when they started doing the to-go sales, because I'm close-ish to the Far West Lounge in Encinitas. Mm-hmm. So that's where I will order my beer and pick it up. And so for a while, I could just order it, pick it up, no problem. And then they incorporated the the window and it's a 15 minutes time slot. Yeah. And and so there was one time that I went to go pick it up and I go, ooh, you know, I, I think I want to grab another one. So I was standing outside of the brewery and I placed an order and, you know, th- my time slot wasn't available because I was standing there. Like you have to plan it way, way, way in advance. Oh, right. And yeah. Yeah. And so when I went to talk to her, she's like, well, do you have an appointment? I go, no, I'm not getting my fucking nails done. I just want to pick <laughs> up my beer. Like, and she, she, she gave me shit. It was kind of dumb. Yeah. You know? They're, and, they're a little too up on themselves. Sometimes. And it was a little bit in the, the heat of like everybody just like, you know, let's support our locals. Let's keep our locals afloat. Like, you know, all of that, that showing love to the locals. And so I was like, all right, guys, I don't know. I will have to admit. I haven't been back since then. It was just a little. Eh. Yeah, I haven't either. I, I I love modern times. Their beer is phenomenal. I love their message, but that was such a turnoff. And I was like, you know what? A bunch of other breweries will take my fucking money. So right, I'm, right. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna throw my money elsewhere. Yeah, make it rain too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just trying to catch a buzz. So you know, whatever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think that was a drinking huge mistake. PBR. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> you see where your priorities are. Yeah. 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 So, uh, and then finally, I want to close on this story only because it's funny. Colorado's Trinity Brewing has been sold. Jason Yester, the founder of Trinity Brewing, has sold the 13 year old Colorado Springs based brew pub to restaurateur, real estate investor, and home brewer Matthew Detman. Detman will reportedly maintain the Trinity name in several beers developed by Yester. According to Westward, Yester is exiting the craft beer business, citing a loss of inspiration as the hazy IPA trend took hold of the industry, <laughs> as well as fruit beers pastry sh- and pastry stouts, leading him to feel disconnected from the industry as beer styles became more homogenous. In his yeah. opinion, uh, or in his opinion, he began shopping the brew pub in 2018. I love it. It's like, oh, so hazies and pastry stouts and fruited sours came around. This guy's like, oh, I want out of here. Fuck this. <laughs> He's like Kurt Cobain of like uh, the breweries, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh oh too soon. I mean too soon. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love the people unwilling to change. Enjoy the beer. Well, it was like we said about uh Integrin. Remember, like they just want to do German lagers. Yeah. But everyone kind of pressured them into doing IPAs. And it's funny because they do everything so well. But I thought, what a bitch it would be if like their best beer that, that everyone agrees on is their IPA and they have to keep making it. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, oh my God, like this is not what we wanted to do. Like we want to do German lagers. I, I have they, to admit. Did they go forward with the IPA? Oh, yeah. They've had mm-hmm. it for years. Like they oh. don't necessarily have it on tap all the time, but they've had okay. it for years because people will come in and we've talked to the owners in the brewery. Like they'll come in and be like, hey, uh, let me have an IPA. Like we don't, we don't fucking have IPAs. You clearly right. can't read the menu. Right. My favorite was because of the Rona, they had to can it. Like they had just brewed a batch before the Rona happened. And then the Rona happened. They're like, well, shit, no one's drinking in our brewery. So they had to can it and they've never canned it before. And I had talked to their lead brewer in the past and she absolutely, Brittany, she absolutely hates making it. She's all about the German lagers. Mm-hmm. And so just to be a dick, because we're friends, I bought a four pack of it and then made sure to take a picture, gram it and tag her in it. <laughs> Greg's a dick, everybody. That's, that's what I'm saying, that bad. Yeah. That's I just why, thought it was funny. That's why you I could have been that mad dude, at an like... old lady for touching your car. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's why I could see that dude like Kurt Cobaining himself, man. He's just like, dude, this is not what I wanted to do, and I'm not going to do it. I quit. Yeah, yeah and he basically did. Yeah, put the brewery gun to his mouth, and he's done. <laughs> Too soon. How dare you? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was an inside job. I know. <laughs> so we, we, were, we weren't in that room. We don't know what happened. That's true. It was the aliens. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's Elvis. Um, all right. That's all we got, I think. Thank you all for joining. Allie, thanks for hanging out with us. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Everybody go follow Allie on the gram at Allie in Cali, A-L-L-Y underscore in underscore Cali, C-A-L-L-Y. Those are dots, but yes. Oh, excuse me, dots. <laughs> or underscore. You know what? My second beer tonight is a 10 percenter, so 
I'm going to need some slack over here. Yeah. I'm drinking that Black is Beautiful uh, as my backup beer. By the way, uh. don't forget, I said it last week. If you tag the gents in your Black is Beautiful post, I will donate a dollar uh, to Campaign Zero. So make that. sure you tag us in your Black is Beautiful posts. Uh, thank you all for listening. Find us at the Unfiltered Gentleman, no dots or underscores. Um, and at Unfiltered Gents on Twitter, the Unfiltered Gentleman at gmail.com, 805 538 Beer 2337. That's the number to drunk dial. Please leave us a voicemail. I think that's pretty much everything. So thank you all for hanging out and staying well hydrated. And on that note, good night, everybody. Good night.